Korean grammar for speaking, unit 32. We should study 32 today. And it looks familiar, maybe? Because 주, it starts with 주. 주시겠어요. 어 주시겠어요. 해 주시겠어요. 음, nothing, 어, 해. That means it works just like present tense. Irregulars? Obviously, the same. All right, so this means, remember we studied last time, please do it for me, but this is more, more polite than 주세요. 주세요, please do it for me. It's like something, it's the service that you have to give me, so please do it for me. Hey, I know you're my something, you're my mom, please buy something for me. It's not a question, you know what I mean? So, if it's a question, hey, would you do it for me? Then it's more polite, right? And this is that, would you please do it for me? So it's more and more polite. So nothing can be polite than this. So it makes you a super duper good person. Like if you use this grammar and ask a favor someone, then he's gonna ask you like, wow, where did you learn Korean? Your Korean is so good. <laughs> so polite. Polite people make us happy, right? Okay, so 주시겠어요? 어 주시겠어요? 해 주시겠어요? Would you please do something for me? Okay. Now you guys might have a question about this. How do I call old people, not old people, like 30, 40, 50s, right? And you know, like 아저씨, you might know this word, right? Old man, but this doesn't mean really that old man, old man, you know, not in a bad way. And um, you know, 아저씨 is like in their 30s to like, 50s, 60s, but if they are like older than about, I'm not sure, about like 40s, 50s, then we can just call them 선생님, teacher. But that doesn't mean really teacher, it's like sir in English. So it's better to call them sir, like any people who looks older than you. Sir, would you please wait for me? Good manner, right? Okay, would you please, um, go to Gangnam Station in the taxi? How would you say? That's right, it should be a question. I know I'm the passenger, but I want to be a good man. So, it's better to say, Please go to Gangnam Station for me. Would you please go to Gangnam Station for me? It's up to you. If just 주세요 is easier for you, then use it. It's not bad at all. It's, it's still polite, but this is more and more polite. So if you use them, they would be really happy. Something like this. How about this? 싸다. Sada has a lot of meanings, right? If you remember, Sada, cheap. Sada, take a mm, take a poo. <laughs> the bathroom words, right? And also, what? Buy? No. Pack something, like wrap. So you have some leftover food at the restaurant. Would you please pack it up for me? Then how do you say? That's right. 싸주시겠어요? Normally we say, 이거 좀, this thing a little. 이거 좀 싸주시겠어요? 집에서 먹고 싶어요. I want to eat at home. So it's obvious that you're not saying, 
Would you please be cheap for, for me? Does it make sense, right? Would you please take a pee for me? Doesn't make any sense in the restaurant, right? So it's obvious that it means please pack it up for me in a container, you know? Okay. How about this word? 보내다. Send. Would you please send it to me quickly? 빨리. Mm, 빨리. 빨리 보내 주시겠어요? Perfect. 빨리 보내. Take out that. 주시겠어요? 빨리 보내 주시겠어요? Okay. I'll do that. So like at the post office. As soon as possible. Please send it. You know. How about this? 확인하다. To check. So check out. So would you please check it out? 확인하 주시겠어요? 하 주시겠어요? 확인해 주시겠어요? Right. 확인해 주시겠어요? So you are in the hotel and you're, you booked this hotel, for example. Hey, would you please check my booking? No, check my name, please. How do you say? 제 이름이 제 이름을 제 이름을 제 이름을 확인해 주시겠어요? That's right. But should be a question, 해 주시겠어요? 확인해 no. 주시겠어요? Perfect. 제 이름을 확인해 주시겠어요? Would you please check my name on it? Or we can use this word 확인하다, 체크하다. It's a really common word. So how do you say? 제 이름을 체크해 주시겠어요? Good. 체크해 주시겠어요? Okay, sure. We'll do that for you. 오다. Come. Would you please come? How would you say? 어 주시겠어요? Say it again. 오다. 어 You didn't listen to my lesson. What did I say? What did I say? Nice. That's right. So you have to remember like which format that we're using. Okay? Yes. So 오다 와 주시겠어요? Okay. Here's some new word then. The air conditioner right here. It's really here. <laughs> it's really here. So, what's the word turn off? 끄다. 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 Would you please turn it off for me? 꺼 주시겠어요? Right. 꺼 주시겠어요? This 으 guys becomes 어, right? 끄다, 꺼요. 끄다, 꺼요. How about would you please turn it on for me? Turn on? 켜다. 켜. 켜. 어. 켜 주시겠어요? That's right. But should be a question. 켜 주시겠어요? Nice. 켜 주시겠어요? 에어컨 좀켜 주시겠어요? 에어컨 좀꺼 주시겠어요? And we have another word for turn on. It's weird, but we have. There's no way. So, 틀다. 틀다. It's going to be really important because it's going to be really hot here. So you got to have to, I mean, you got to, you know, be able to say it. Please turn it on, turn it off. And nicely. So, 켜다. 끄다. 틀다. Perfect. 틀어주시겠어요? Turn something on. So I really hope you use that in real situations. And it's coming. The summer is coming. Okay. So this is used just like what we studied last time, Unit 31. Right? So please do this for me. But this is just extra version, like would you please do it for me? So use 
when you want to use, please do something for me. Use this. Uh, I was going to finish it again, but <laughs> this word. So important, you know. Two more. 바꾸다. Change. You bought something in this store, and we studied exchange, 교환하다, refund, 환불하다 last time. But now, we want to change it. You bought, for example, like black color, but now you want red color. So, 바꾸다, switch, change. How would you say, would you please change this to red color? Would you please? Should be a question. <laughs> nice. 바꾸어, 바꾸어. 꾸어, 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 꾸어. 바꾸어. 바꾸어 주시겠어요? Good. To what? Red color. What's red color? 빨간색. 빨간색. So, to red color? 빨간색. 빨간색으로 Would you please change it? 구워주시겠어요 What? <웃음> 바꾸어주시겠어요? 바꾸어 right. 빨간색으로 바꿔주시겠어요? Mm -hmm. It's better than saying 바꿔주세요 But it's not bad at all, but it's better, you know? So use this 주시겠어요 When you are in a mood that, oh, I want to be a good man today, <laughs> all right? So, unit 32 is now finished. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.